In this video, we will be talking about how to configure VPC and EIP on Sang4 SCP. There are some basic configurations for configuring VPC and EIP on Sang4 SCP. Step 1. Create a new tenant. Step 2. Set quota for the tenant. Step 3. Create new EIP pool. Step 4. Associate EIP. VPC will be auto-created after new tenants had been created. Thus, you are required to create a new tenant first. To be able to connect the VPC to external network, you need to associate the EIP with the VPC. Even if you created VPC subnet with the same segment as external network, it will not able to communicate with external network if there is no elastic IP. In this video, we will demonstrate on how to configure VPC and EIP on Sang4 SCP. First, go to SCP, Operations Center and select Tenants. Select Create Tenant. Fill in the details. Username and password configured here will be used to login into Tenants Portal as Tenants Administrator. Allocate the resource pool to the tenant. Select VPC as network type. Confirm the detail and set quota. At here, you can set the quota you want for the public resource and resource pool of the tenant. We will set it to default and the international line to 500 megabits per second and 5 elastic IPs for public resources. After everything is done, this will create a new tenant with VPC network. Now, log into the tenant's portal using the username and password configured just now. Navigate to Resources, Network. Click on the default VPC generated after tenants had been created. In the VPC, you can configure the VPC subnet, ACL, destination NAT, static root, network settings and internal DNS. The VPC subnet will be used to assign IP address on a VM created or requested by the tenant's user. You may create multiple subnet and assign the subnet to the VM accordingly. The VPC ACL is having the same function with distributed firewall in normal topology. However, it will only take effect for the particular VPC. By default there is an allow all ACL for all VPC. You may configure new ACL that block based on source IP, destination IP and service. You may also configure NAT policy when the elastic IP is only assigned to the VPC edge. After click new, the configuration windows will show. Select the elastic IP from the assigned elastic IP. This elastic IP will be the destination IP for your NAT. Because we have not yet created our elastic IP pool, so now we are not able to choose the elastic IP. Select the protocol that wish to be translated. Choose from all, TCP, UDP and ICMP. Internal IP is the IP that you wish to be translated. You may either choose from your VM resources or specify an IP. The static route allow you to create route for the VPC subnet to communicate with each other. In network settings, you can configure the corresponding elastic IP assigned to the VPC gateway edge and the DNS server. Create internal DNS if you want to translate certain domain name to a specific IP. Besides, the configuration may also be configured in resources, topology. For subnet, static root, ACL, DNS server and internal DNS, you may configure in the router's settings.
For elastic IP and NAT configuration, you can configure in VPC Gateway. Now, we will go back to SCP to create elastic IP pool. Go to Resources, Elastic IP Pools. Select Create Elastic IP Pool. Select the resource pool associate to this Elastic IP Pool. You may select all resource pool or specific resource pool to be associate. Select the line type based on environment. Suggest to create Elastic IP Pool with different line type. We will select the international line we had set quota on the tenant just now. Input the bandwidth for the Elastic IP Pool. Configure the IP range for the Elastic IP Pool. Note that it shall be the IP that able to communicate with external network. Specify the VLON ID you want for the Elastic IP Pool. After done settings, click OK and the Elastic IP Pool will be created. Now, we will associate the Elastic IP to the VPC. We can associate the Elastic IP in the tenant. Go to Resources, IP and Bandwidth. Select Elastic IP and click New. Select how many new Elastic IP you want to create. Select the line, Bandwidth Type, and Bandwidth. After done settings, click OK. Now the Elastic IPs has been created. Click on Associate. Associate it to the resource type you want such as VPC Gateway or specific VM. For demonstration purpose we will associate one IP to VPC Gateway and one IP to VM. Go to Topology and check the IP. From here, we can see that both VPC Gateway and VM has been associated with Elastic IP. Test a pin to the Elastic IP associated to the VM. It is pingable while associating. Now we will try to disassociate it again. We can see that the IP cannot be ping now. Associate it again and it can be ping again. This indicates that the elastic IP is working. Until here, the configuration for VPC and EIP on SANG4 SCP has been done. Precautions. Elastic IP must be the IP segment that able to communicate with external network. The Elastic IP can be added for a VPC as limited by the quota. For the EIP pools with same line type, the Elastic IP will be assigned based on the priority from bottom to top. The Elastic IP pool cannot be the same with the VPC subnet.